The way the economy functions predominantly today is it's very extractive, it's linear. You know, we take something out of the ground, we make something out of it, and at the end of the life of that product, we throw it away. No matter how efficient you are with the materials you feed into that system, even if you make that product using a little bit less energy and a little bit less material, you're still going to run out in the end. If you turn that on its head and look at a circular model, whereby when you design a product, you take a material out of the ground, or you take recycled material, ideally, you feed that into the product, but you design the product so you can get all the materials back out again, by design, from the outset. You design out waste and pollution, because why would you ever create either in a world with finite resources? It's about the design brief. I'm hugely optimistic because you know, when you look at the numbers, when you look at the economics behind this, it makes sense to switch to a circular economy. There's more value in a circular economy than a linear economy. Let's work out what circular really looks like and try and paint that circular tapestry as best as we possibly can. Mm -hmm.